field is set, ready to run. Stand by for a start. And they're racing. Give them a cheer, Australia, wherever you're listening. What a win! And the cup will never forget! Ah, uh, ha, ha! Welcome oh, back. So good, man. To the Reggies. The Blue Bet Reggie's The Moya Show, I think we're going to go with. We haven't uh, locked that one in yet, but we're three blokes who could have been anything but decided to have fun instead. Group 1 racing returns this week, boys, plus uh, there's heaps of big name horses coming back. We're in the new studio. We're in the new studio. We've opened the Vix jar for Maybe. good old Reggie's Juju. We're having a big old fucking sniff. We just mm. needed to get fired up even more than mm. we're already fucking up. You know what good. I am now? What? Clear. Yeah. yeah. So I'm Both like clear headed. Clear. We've got a fresh, clean slate ready yeah. to just print. And, and I'm fucking pumped. This is going to get clipped up so you can all see this epic fucking setup we've got. I've mm. got, bear with me here because there's a list of people I'm about to thank. For getting us to where we are. Um, straight up, I've got to thank me mate Sam Mandel. He owns, he's the owner of Mandel Build. He made this fucking beautiful desk slash table. He made it before Christmas for us. Um, mate, he's a legend of a bloke. He is so nice, boys. Like, mm. the, think of me and he's the opposite. Yeah. Just yeah, he's fucking, a great bloke. Yeah, so <laughs> nice. Just a genuine good bloke. Um, Selfless. Tyson and Dan from the Black Dagger Tattoo Studio. They're the ones responsible for this fucking artistry behind us. We've got Shane Warne uh, next to Tommy. I'm going to try and get out of the way here because David Foster is fucking slewing into a bit of timber. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then behind Jace, we've got the one and only Maccabi Diva. The greatest. Um, that artistry is unreal, man. Like to be able to do that and have the patience to do it. And to yeah, instantly recognise, you can look at that and go, Warren, yeah. Foster, Maccabi Diva. I, mm. I've come, I come in a few times when he was painting and he had this plate that he holds here and it would have had fucking 50 colours on it. And he just dabs into it, paints a oh, bit, man. dabs into here, mixes that there. And I'm just it was every shade of colour I've ever seen in my fucking life <laughs> yeah. all in the studio. Unreal. So shout out to them and thank you to them. Um, yeah, go give them a follow and stuff like that too. If you're chasing some ink or uh, any similar stuff, yeah, tell them yeah. Reggie sent you. Bloody oath. Uh, Red Ed here, he come in and fucking helped build this thing. Mm. Quino helped out. We done all the sound. We set up all the tech. Um, and last, not lastly, second lastly, I don't care who, one of you cunts, thank me right now. Thanks, Grandpa. Oh, mate. I've... <laughs> Yeah, Thanks, mate. you've been fucking... Uh, you've been the MVP of this whole scenery. Unreal, bros. The yeah. And the things you can't see as well, like as in everything coming off the old um, Sparky trade, everything's all the leads and that are neatly ran, tucked <laughs> the in, unlike uh, Cam and myself. <laughs> so <laughs> so he's awesome. done really well. And honestly, we've been itching to get in here for so long. I'm glad we waited until... We're sitting here and everything's fucking smick. Yeah, so, can't well fault done, a brother. single There's thing. There's nothing else we have to do. No. no. Um, and the last thank you is to every single one of the Reggie's listeners because they, this is this happened because of all you blokes and ladies. Spot so on. Fucking thank you so much. Fucking nice. Um, and on the back of that, thanks for all of you who have already went and copped a four in one. Mm. Um, when we started recording this, they were getting fucking hammered. There was still a fair few left, so if you're keen, if they're still there, go and give them a hiding. Um, and, yeah, get stuck into your work in a four-in-one. There's Spaggy Regis still there. Head to theregis.com.au and uh, cop one of those. Bloody oath. There's um, someone just posted in the RLC before, and they got, I think, three four-in-ones, a couple of Regis. Yeah, no. Nice. I was like clockwork too. I was like, oh, I should put a post in there about how it's, you know, in case people have forgotten. Bang. Yeah, I'll make it. <laughs> He'll feel good when he shows up to drinks. Yeah. They'll be like, yeah, yeah, Ooh, yeah, what's yeah. he holding? What's on his head? Now, before we get into this, mm. gamble responsibly, eh? Yeah, of course. Everybody, feed yourself, feed your kids, pay your rent, and then have a punt. Beautiful. Um, last week, how'd we go? How did we oh. go? We have touched on this on uh, Tuesday's episode. Touchy subject. Oh, it hurts me. Touchy. I think I think this is the perfect time to introduce our uh, little mantelpiece. Well, there's yeah. no other week that can represent what, what this exactly happened. will be awarded to. That's so right. Quino will play the uh, the last week's fucking print clip in a minute, mm. but 
just this here. I'll get this out of the way. So it's just a bit of timber if you're looking at it, which you will be because we'll clip it up. It's a bit of timber, but for all the listeners, my old man has gone to chop some firewood up, right, up in Bowen. This is before Bowen Cup, so before October last year. He's hit it with the axe and he split it. <laughs> and he swears that it's split exactly how it's come here now. And it's two bits of wood and it's literally like a <laughs> cock going into a hole. Just yeah. driving it's, a it's hole. It's He's put stake, it on a hinge. A stake has stayed on one half and the hole is on the other. <laughs> he has hinged it. And it perfectly slides through the hole oh. and clamps shut. <laughs> it is a work of art so, from nature yeah. itself. So he's placed it on a piece of wood. It's like a trophy and that's going to be like when you get fucked over. Yeah. Like last week when the punting gods decided to take that whole storyline that would have been the best thing on earth and just fucked us. Yep. So twice. that's and fucked us twice. Jace's poor little red hole got an absolute <laughs> yeah. hiding. So that's me. That's, that's my it. hole in the us, right. And us, that's Australia us. giving away a penalty on the left. That's yep. it. Yep. Perfect. I just love how the Keats, he's just, he's put a hinge on it and you can just constantly <laughs> just fuck it. Yeah. Yep. Constantly you want. get fucked. <laughs> so that'll be, that'll this be. This is going to be. So show. we were talking about. I think it's got to go to if you <clears throat> absolutely shit the bed, obviously, but if you get unlucky. That's so what I reckon. Basically like w- what happened to us on the yep. weekend where 96-minute penalty done us out yeah. of four grand. I reckon if you just shit the bed, you just pull your head in. But yeah. if, you, if you're very hard done by, you got fucked. You're up by 10 on your same game or on your multi or whatever. Yeah. The last team that needs to win is up by 10 with five to go and they lose in golden point or something. So we're keeping track of who got the most fucked. So is Jace getting written down for one already or yeah, I think do we start could, from now? Yeah. But that was us. That was yeah, all of us. We'll start from now. It was. Yeah. Because right. it was the punters. I'd part. take it. Literally yeah, yeah. take it. Well, I know you would do. take it. Yeah. <laughs> I have taken it and I will. You will take it. <laughs> <laughs> For the show, you fucking will. You yes, I'll fucking will. love taking it. <laughs> <laughs> no, just to clarify. Um, right, uh, last week, here we go. I am going to go to, I think it's Rose Hill, Race four, horse number three, Lady Laguna, Draws Gate seven, Annabelle Neesham trains. We are going to the Biffin for my leg of the blue bed all in. Variety. And we're going to Molly McCann versus Deanna Belbita. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, (laughs) Belbita. Molly's last two fights, she's lost via submission. Now she's up against a kickboxer here. My leg will be just for her to win at $1.40 this week. Richies! Woof, woof, woof. I think the one I'm making me best is an absolute cracker of a bet, so I'm just going to go with it. And we're staying in Brizzy for me best, and it comes up in the last of the day. So whatever you've lost all day, double it, triple it, and have the whole fucking oh, lot on Daytona man. Bay. Yeah. That's it, lads. Eagle Farm, race That's 10. Nice. What we're doing with our last $100 Sorry, Jace. for the Punters Sorry, Club oh. is we're going the all-in, so all of our best, including Barb's is best, obviously. <laughs> In a multi, 100 on it. <laughs> wow. Wow. We've got Lady Laguna to win. <laughs> Aussies to win in the Asian oh, Cup. Oh. Molly McCann to win. And Daytona Bay to win at Eagle Farm in the last. Oh, yeah. Multi it up. 100 on it. Fucking, I've just got a good feeling. $4, that is $4, fucking $4. unreal. Yeah. You've done it. That right. was salt in the fucking wounds, Four thousand dollars. Insult to injury. Yeah, that is that is hard. Four thousand. That was Gilly, not me. Um, <laughs> just to give Gilly. them a bit of an insight, Grace. <laughs> like with the new segments and that, you'll run through. But like Bloody we'll earth. be we'll be keeping up a units like scoreboard a throughout yeah. the year, so people can keep in, on track. We can keep on track with how we're going. You should see me spreadsheets. Mm. I've got going. Fucking I. I had to get a bloke at work who's deadly at spreadies to help me. Mm. <laughs> deadly at spreadies. Be a lucky that cunt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So pretty much I've just got... <laughs> As he says to two leckies. <laughs> I've got to put... All I've got to do is put the units in and the price and the fucking the rest works itself out. Yeah. Including Prime. that. The return on That's investment brilliant. and all that. So, oh, yeah. He's a gun. Mm. Um. What else happened last week, boys? There was a race card. There was a race meet at Bowen Turf Club. Was yeah, it there it on was. On Friday. Mm. Keto has almost done it again. He almost tipped the card. I think he tipped three winners, two placings, and one 
missed. Mm. How did he go, Quino? Let's just recap that, actually. Ito has been requested to pick the card. Hopefully one closer than last time. It's all about how these horses travel and handle the heat. Here we go, listeners only. Bowen, race one, number three, Brazen Breccia. Race two, Blue Kentucky Moon. Race three, Brave Missile. Race four, Well Rested. Race five, Ocean Emperor. Race six, Make It Flashy. And race seven, Beyond Star. I'll be taking the win and place multis. Until next week, guys, stay safe, play hard like a true Reggie does. Such a shame that first. Oh, right. no. Like, uh, boys would have been yipping and yeah. yipping, like yahooing. Same result, obviously, if it loses last, but it's just, I wish it was the last. Yeah. keeps you there. But Tommy Button and uh, Gabby should have rode three in a row, and that was all <coughs> Button's horses. Mm. It was, um, oh, I forgot what the first one was, but into Ocean Emperor and into Make It Flashy. And Make It Flashy just ran sideways up the straight. Yeah. Ducked in and I got off balance and I was just like, oh, my God, people have just lost thousands because oh, I know myself and so Dad, he had the three buttons to win. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And it got, went down by oh. like – it looked like it won. That's how close it was. I thought it did. I'm going, where's the hometown yeah. photo? I thought it I thought <laughs> it actually won. Eight. And then yeah. anyway. Um, Good on you, Keto. Keto had a ripping day. So there was a group up there. Um Fuck, I forgot their name. Keto's going to kill me. Um, Punters Club was up there. Yeah, They're yeah. from Sydney. Yeah. Or they're from uh, Dad Kissing. Yeah, yeah. And they went to Airlie for their big Punters Club trip and they were there for four nights. So they got there on the Thursday and then on the Friday they got a bus from Airlie to Bowen to go to the races. Fuck wow. yeah. And Keats has tipped them all yeah. this. Oh, they <laughs> and were... they were just, Keto! He was yeah. a fucking <laughs> superstar to them, And man. one of them... I, I don't know if this is Mayo or not, but apparently one of them had 400 on that three-leg multi of win, win, win oh. and make it flashy, oh, <laughs> look like wow. it won and didn't quite. I was say. off myself, eh, because I had a bit on that day, but I was like obviously put the multis on and then went everything singly as well. But for some reason I was caught up doing something and I was waiting for the other one to get paid out or something before I put it on. The biggest paying one? The biggest yeah. paying cut. And that was the one I missed and looked at it and went, oh, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, no. good job, Keto. I, I hope did, all the boys. I, think I literally little... rolled out of bed, put my bets on. I did some place multis, win multis, and then a few just head to head. So I had a mm. decent return. Yeah, I, I did too. Because I, I actually multied that, the biggest paying one, wish I could remember its name, in the Ocean Emperor and I left Make It Flashy out in another multi oh, as nice. well. I just fucking had multis everywhere. I'm a bit off multis. I mentioned two years on the weekend. Fuck, mm. yeah, you I'm were. An off, I'm off them because I would have fucking made so much money on the weekend if I didn't multi shit and just backed everything one out. But the, anyway, it's not as cool. Yeah. The, not the Masters cool. Punters Club, they're called. Cronulla yeah. in Sydney. So Shout good on Shire. you, boys. Keto's been doing some networking for us, so fucking rip in. <laughs> Good on you, Keto. Um, yeah. Well, I reckon we should uh, rip in, eh? Yeah. Fuck yeah, let's do First it. First new segment. Here we go. Brought to you by Bluebet. Bloody oath. Everything's brought to you by Bluebet here today. They are a great partner of ours. So the first segment, we're calling it the championships. It's me, Tommy, Jace. And you, you listeners. Mm. So every week we're going to pick a listener. I'll put a post up, I don't know, Tuesday lunchtime or something. If you like the post, you go into the draw and you can be, you know, selected to bet your five units on behalf of the listeners. This week um, I've already got a bloke because he sort of gave me the idea, you know. So mm. I thought out of respect. Be rude sure. not You to. can uh, do it. So, yeah. The three of us, we all get five units each. We're all individual. We're not a team. Yous are a team, but yous also only get the five units. So any race, any sport, fucking anything you want to bet on, you bet on. You can split your units up however you want. It doesn't matter what a unit's worth because a unit is a unit. And the whole point of that is, is people bet with different amounts of money. But if you bet, normally bet $10 or you normally bet $100, it doesn't matter. One unit's one unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So righto. I reckon, uh, do you want me to kick it off? Kick it off, mate. Fuck There's yeah. And we've got five units, like you said, to suspend. That's right. There's three things in life that are certain, boys. Mm. Death, taxes, 
and Asfura winning first half at Caulfield. Oh. Over 1,100 metres. Yeah, Has right. to be 1,100 metres. She is a freak first half. She's too fast. Her cruising speed is fucking so fast. Um, race 8, Caulfield, 1,100 metres. It's the Group 2 Rubiton Stakes. Uh, sometimes it's just too easy, boys. Sometimes it is just too easy. And you're getting... Like positive numbers. You're not getting a dollar seventy, a dollar eighty. You're getting two dollars twenty for this. Ooh. So I am just going to go straight out. I've already filled the spreadsheet in mm. as a win. To oh, me. Okay. <laughs> Confidence <laughs> on the man. As for uh, gate six, will lead, will win. Eleven hundred meters. First up. Five but units on. Two five units. Take straight, money. straight on. Straight Fuck, on. I love that. Fucking oath. Nice. Great um, stuff. Right out. Right. In, well, I've split mine up in the championships here just to give myself a little bit of a spread to try mm. and get a, you know, they'll all probably come off, but um, <laughs> just to give myself a bit more of a chance, thought I'd go with the ponies as well, and I'm going to Doombin for all three of mine. Big. Big. Going to big. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> first one in race three, we've got horse number four, Kabosh, uh, paying $3.50 to win. CJ Waller trained James Orman on board. Jimmy. Yep, big Jim. So we're going <laughs> that one first up. We're going two units to win right. at 350. Then the next one, we are Doombin Race 9, Horse 3, Boom Talk. It's paying $2.65, and we're going to go two units on it. And last but not least, we're heading to Doombin Race 10, number four, Viminelli. Oh, yeah. This one has got a bit of a feel on the show. Friend of the show. Lindsay Goff trained. Obviously, Barb sniffs around it. <laughs> um, and, you know, I was very unlucky last start. I think it's looking very good. So I'm going to chuck one unit on that, and that is my five units for the championships. That's nice. a beautiful last bet, mate. Barb's actually sent me Viminelli's splits mm. for the uh, from 800 to the finish line. Yep. Unbelievable Looks splits. good. Unbelievable splits. But cannot miss the start again. Mm. Missed it at the Gold Coast when we were there watching. Yeah, and did. then didn't miss it last start but was fucking slow away. So if it just gets midfield, oh, man. It's a chance. Got to win. Sure. It's a chance. Anyway, Righto, yeah, boys. Go. Off the back of that, we've got Super Bowl 58 coming up this Monday Ooh. morning for us Ooh. in Oz. Ooh. We've got San Francisco 49ers taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. As most of you know, it's a global super sporting event, regardless if you're a fan of American football or not. It's a true. lot of people tune in for it. I know every year at school, it would always coincide with our school photo day. So every Monday true. in February, we'd be sitting there just watching it until about the fourth quarter. I'll be doing the same at work this year. Don't you fucking worry. So as you know, <laughs> one of my previous bets, I didn't want to see the Chiefs succeed. And they have by getting to the big dance, but this is where it stops, boys. Yeah, I was going to say. Sourdough Sam and the 49ers <laughs> are going to be too much for the Chiefs, and my God, I'm not fucking keen to see how many times Taylor Swift's on the TV. Well, there is some rival wagering partners offering odds on that, there which is I think is hilarious. certain <laughs> novelties. So with that, one of my legs will actually contradict that statement as it's guaranteed to be shown if it gets up. My four-leg multi will be Christian yeah. McCaffrey to Father score a like touchdown. <laughs> Prolific all year round, and this guy just eats touchdowns for breakfast. Travis Kelsey to score a touchdown. Overs on 46 and a half points and 49ers to win head-to-head. -head. That's paying six bucks, and I'm throwing all five units on it. Oh, That's only paying six mm. for a four-legger. I know. Holy. But that's because they're just such sure things. Yeah, yeah, well, I fucking agree. So they're both high-scoring teams, hence the overs as well. So he's I'm pretty, really pretty confident. They're offensive teams. He's really taken they? back to his roots here. Yeah, I have. Five Father leg. likes yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> five leg shave one off. show. <laughs> Little five leg. <laughs> Little fivey. His dad would be proud. <laughs> yeah. I wish he was here, you know. I wish he could have heard that. Yeah. He'll nice. Hear well, He'll spread hear around, boys. Yeah, there's, there's it's good. Bit, I like it. I want to see. We cannot let the fucking listeners have one up on us. Straight oh, up. Fuck no. <laughs> Straight up. Imagine clawing back from the start. <laughs> Our debut punt show and all three of us go down to a listener. <laughs> well, like it won't I be said, mate. It just doesn't I've happen. I've already filled mine in. It's fucking – sometimes it's too easy. Righto. Um, Brendan Light. Oh. Lighty, mate. Um, thanks for helping us out. You know, you you didn't give me the idea, but you, you mentioned it, so – you got the honours. That's the biggest compliment I've ever heard <laughs> yeah. Groper give anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. He doesn't give him that too often. 
<laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, let's hear it because he's going to take the honour of being the first bet on behalf of the listeners. Unreal. So get into it. G'day, Reggies. It's Lighty here. First, I'd like to say I love the podcast and I'm grateful for the opportunity to have the first bet on behalf of the listeners in the new punting competition. Let's hope I don't shit the bed and I can get the <laughs> listeners off to a good start. So I've got five units to play with, so I'm going to go a two-leg win multi at Caulfield Race 4, number 4, Southport Tycoon, and Caulfield Race 9, number 1, Mr Brightside. Oh. Uh, and that's paying it about $3.50. So I'll put four units on that. Oh, they're home already. Then I'll do a three-leg multi, uh, Ramic Race 9, number 8, a more victorious to win. Ooh, a more. Caulfield Race 7, number 1, Bold Bastille to win. And Corfield race eight, number four, a spur to win. And that's paying about $11. Fuck this block. And I'll have the last unit on that. So get that into you. The moya, the moya. <laughs> Fuck yeah. He sounds like he knows how to punt. Yeah, 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 I know. Wow. We could be in trouble. Um, no, nah, we're not. We're good. For everyone who obviously can't see and doesn't watch on YouTube, Tom just has a little notebook here and he just wrote all of those down. Well, he takes notes. <laughs> well, I thought it just suits a punting show. Like I was walking around at home with me red John with a pencil tucked in the ear because I thought, you know, this seems punty. Yeah. So <laughs> There's a lot of punt in that. So right. I've, still got, I've still got I've still got me digital here with the yarns in there, but I've just got me little analogue. Sitting in your back pocket. I've scribbled as slapped. fast as I could the names of those horses. <laughs> it probably will never get used, but it makes me feel like I'm on the ball. So Yeah, you are on the ball. Mm. Um, um, guess what? I've got a surprise. Oh, do you? So every week I've been – I sort of half mentioned it to Jace last week, so we might know where I'm going with this. But every week during the show I'm going to have myself five units – on a greyhound that is oh, running. Oh, yeah. Right. There's the alarm. Oh. <laughs> to say it's running. All right. <laughs> Thursday so night dish lickers. I'm going to have Thursday night dish lickers. Yeah, That's yeah. The, it's the best dish licking Gropers racing greyhound. around. So we're going to have Gropers Greyhound every Thursday. You Live. won't get to bet on it, but you'll get to hear me fucking cheer at home. Mm, so nice. I think it's uh, they jump in about two minutes' time. Nice. While we'll we're, talk us through your thoughts. Uh, I love a gate one, Tom. Me too. I love one a or gate eight. One. Yeah. Um, Hot because ask Jim Cassidy, fastest way home is the fence, boys. Mm. <laughs> and I could not agree more. No, the one is good. I like the one and the eight. But yeah. yeah, yeah, you do like a bit of hot wings. You've mentioned that a few mm. times. But, yeah, I agree. That's I just start. love the one because he's already in the most advantageous position. A one with a good start to get out of the just fucking chaos. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And this thing's, Early speed, this thing's called cash it in. Oh, <laughs> what a start you 50. will. Uh, I'm a bit worried about the two dog because its uh, name's Witty Wendy. So oh, that's vibey. Fuck with. That <laughs> is so vibey. I have never backed. If there is a Cut. race with Molly in it, I've never not backed it. How are you, well, go- how are you going if, with that? Oh, I fucking if, never won. If Wendy <laughs> actually does us here, mate. If that's... Wendy does us here. And um, there's also a $101 dog going around in this race called Walk Me Daddy. <laughs> so, wow. Uh, plenty um, options. Dixie Gambles. It's gone win, win, third, win, win. Mm. Uh, mine has gone fifth, fourth, sixth, seventh, fifth. Oh, so what's yeah. I, could see, I could see why you've uh, <laughs> why do you like it? all on that. Well, because Tim Britton trains it. What's Tim, it paying? $3.50, but I got it at uh, $4.20 with a bet boost. Mm. Honestly, you can't really ask someone too much about why you like a Here dog because it's loading. just a dog. Ooh. They're loading. But, yeah, you're right. It's like it's you look for 30 can seconds, go, yeah, that looks all right. Oh, yeah, so you can all see. So we can all watch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the YouTube well, watchers. Get it? No. Oh, just for us. That. Get it on uh, major screen here. Large. There we go. Ooh. Fucking oath. Is it just stopped? Press play. Here we just go. Just press space. Press play. <laughs> Here we go. Lucky we got a good editor. He can tighten this up a bit. Mm. <laughs> Cash it in. Gate one. Gate Tim one. Britton. Here we go. Tim Britton trained. So he normally trains down south in Victoria, but he's got a satellite stable up in Brisbane now. Oh, here come the dish. Uh, 49%. I think he's had 
oh, 60 starters or something, and 49% of them have placed. Oh, Liam's wow. with you. And Liam. I think only, oh, I don't know, 20% of them have won, but this is going to be one of the 20. Liam's I was just thinking, with you. If you didn't just, like when we were watching the Big Bash... This segment is not for you. <laughs> oh, you'll fucking get over <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, but a greyhound race is heaps quicker. There we go. Yeah, Albion Park, race six, number one. Hop, skip it, a jump, The not first, yet. The first uh, week of group is greyhounds. The suspense is killing me. Let the I just want to see the light go. go green. I just want to be there in it. Go. I want green to be light. in it for a long way. Just let me be in it. It's a the... fucking long race. Yeah, yeah. 600 metres. Oh. Just ping, ping. Oh, he's at the gate. Oh, oh get on no, the gun. No. Oh, he's been absolutely. He has been he's absolutely got, shut he's out. He's got no speed. What the fuck <laughs> happened, man? He what? is sitting fucking dead last. They've water loaded the cunt. It is last, but he had a big bone before he jumped. He oh, can't look. get through the ass of the last no, dog. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's, this is a fucking oh, decent hey, sized race, fucking but bullshit. he's, he's going to need a miracle. Dixie's going to get it too. Are you kidding? Dixie's going to get it. Go the eight. Or the eight. Beat Dixie. Yeah, the eight. There, fuck you, Dixie. Springtime Rose. Oh, oh my uh, God. I just, that just run <laughs> last. <laughs> that was a terrible run. Oh, $10.70. That was fucked. Well, one or the eight. It's a good run. Oh, you did say that. Fuck this. Close that. Yeah. Right. Oh, well. Sure. Right, out. So, nothing just happened. Straight then. on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's some weeks we'll win, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> some you will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so shit. Oh, well. They've, they've I like your idea, though. Have oh. another sniff. <laughs> yeah. Fire yourself back right up. Right, I have to set another sniff. Now, next segment coming up. That'll sound good. Tease this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that as I, I said it. Sniff. <laughs> it's Vix. It's Vix. Sniff of Vix. We'll have to clip that up. <laughs> <laughs> this one is for B1 Supremacy, boys. Yeah. This is the B1 Supremacy segment. Oh, so I'm keen for this. Barbs and Buttons. Mm. We've got Button, who owns TBR, Tom Button Racing, trains out of Bowen now. He's moved up there. He's bought a house. He's fucking committed to Bowen. And then we've got Barb's out of Brisbane, trains for Lindsay Goff. Uh, he's a foreman down there. I cannot wait for this. Me too. I said, when I text them all about it, how it's all going to work, I said, look, you can bet on anything, but you're just fucking surely you're just going to go the horses every week. Mm. That's like, what they know. It'd be an absolute fucking show if you go same game multis into footy. If Barb starts <laughs> whipping out yeah, footy multis and shit, it'd be a bit confusing. Well, it'd be like me sticking to the horses all footy season. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, nah. So what's going to happen is they, again, they get five units each in this segment. They're going to go head-to-head all year. Mm. For B1 supremacy. Oh, I love it. We'll have to get a trophy sorted between now and then too. Yeah. Oi, and, Just a big uh, banana. How good, was the, uh, how good was the stinger, by the way, all the listeners? How good was the B1 stinger? Oh, B1, B2 stinger. So fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, righto, let's go. We'll go Barb's first, day eh, because he technically is B1 at the moment. Reggie's. <laughs> That's right. That was a long time. Fucking bark. told you, didn't I? Double it, triple it, <laughs> get it all back on Daytona <laughs> Bay and it duly pissed up, you fucking beauty. Uh, Sunday Arvo had a few beers with the legend himself, T. Dale. Cheers for ripping Arvo, mate. Uh, took mm. a fucking fair bit to raise their head the next morning when that alarm went off at 4am. <laughs> but, yeah, cracking afternoon slash night had boy all in attendance. Well, well, well. So here it is, eh? The new punch show, the B1 versus B2 battle. Well, how I like to call it, the battle of the big girths. The blue cattle dog versus the red cattle dog. Anyway, five oh, units to good. spend. And uh, I'm still going to probably run the best bet and best value method, Reggie's, but uh, I'll probably just be having three units on me best and two on the value most weeks. Lovely. Uh, I'd yeah. say unless, you know, there's something I really like, as in last week, Daytona Bay. So here you go, boys. For my best this week, I'm going to Caulfield Race 6, the Blue Diamond Prelude for the boys, the Colts and Geldings. I'll be having three straight units on number one ear lads, High Octane for Ooh. Team Snowden. Ooh. This son of Deep Field, is very, he's on really, like, a really good trajectory <laughs> to be a serious racehorse. He beat them with ease on Australia Day in the Blue Diamond Preview. Uh, and I think he'll do it again here. Barrier 1, he's drawn to get a lovely run and he'll be guided by one of the best of the business in Blake Shin. I can't see him getting beat. Two dollars seventy at the time of recording. Three units. Caulfield race six. Number one. High octane. For my best value, I'm coming back to Brizzy, to Doombin, and it's all about top weights this week, boys. Race five. Number one. Russian Mystic for two units. 
The jump from Barry and Nine under Kyle Wilson Taylor, this gelded son of Russian Revolution, was super over this track and trip on the 24th of last month. It only just get beat, I think 0.6 or 0.7 was the margin. Um, and I think he meets a weaker opposition here. Barry Lockwood's a genius and you'll have him absolutely wound right up here. And I think he's great value at five fifty and two dollars twenty at the time of recording. So Doomben race five number one Russian Mystic for two units. Keep it stiff, lads. Happy punning. Love it. Few good barks there, wasn't there? It was. <laughs> Very <laughs> low. He didn't stop. Oh, he deserved it. He did say oh. double it, triple yeah. it. Oh, it steered them into steered it. Us into no it. poly this week. It didn't look uh, good either. It led and looked like it was just not going to kick at all, and then it just went gammon. Mm. By that point, we went, oh, fuck, we'd realised we went, if Meatball gets up. I know. That as was our as, turning point. As soon that as was Laguna our... won, that was mine, turning point, because I heard him say double it, yeah, triple it, fucking I'm going, oh, fuck me. <laughs> anyway, Nervy not stuff. to worry. Um, and then newest member, newest yes. member of the team, boys, Tommy Button. B2. B2 at the moment. Uh, so let's just see. can I just clarify quickly? So obviously Barb's is B1 at the moment, Button's B2. Does this change oh, week, to change week, week to whoever's week, whoever's on top of units? Like as in, mm, I think oh, it has yeah. to because it's pretty rough to, for Barb's yeah, yeah, out of yeah. one showing. Yeah, and know? it's like, it's not hit, yeah. It was so all, I, I think it's pretty fair. Barb's is B1 right now, yeah. but as soon as the units are... It fucked, fluctuates. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I love that. The leaderboard changes. Yeah. Definitely. Changes every week. Yeah. There'll be a new B1. <laughs> well, maybe <laughs> each week. Mm. Copy that. Right, oh, Tommy Button. Give us what you got. Reggie's. First of all, I'd like to say thanks for having me on the show. I'm a bit excited, really, to take on Barbary, a.k.a. the big girth. <laughs> if he beat me for the B1 starters down at the Gold Coast and fair play to him, beat me fair and square. But rest assured, Barbary, I'm coming for you and I won't let up until I fucking get you. <laughs> what are my tips for this weekend? Listen up. Three units, Doombin, race seven, horse three, Enterprise Pom. Led them up, Ooh, done all oh. the donkey work last start, got a bit tired late to get beat two lengths behind Lady Laguna. That's good form for this race, and I think $6 is a gift. Oof. With my other two units, I'm going to go a five-leg win multi because I'm a slut for a multi. <laughs> Doombin, wow. race two, horse two, Fuku Ben. <laughs> Doombin, race nine, horse three, Boom Talk. Doombin, race ten, horse four, Viminali. Off to Townsville, race two, horse one, that's it. Townsville, race six, horse five, air it. Good luck, have a good weekend, and remember, the more you the more you <laughs> you fucking got one job. <laughs> first, first go, and he's fucking bearing us. The more ya, the more ya, Tom. The, the more ya, the more. That's the whole point of this <laughs> saying, man. <laughs> but, I, don't know, but, I don't know what he's on about there. Well, that's, first, I've heard of it. Um, they are gambling um, responsibly. Too. Set a deposit limit. Was those was those two units? On the five leg multi, is that five leg multi place or win? Yeah, win. That's what I was thinking. Straight <laughs> dub. What win. a fucking animal. <laughs> if he gets that, Barb's is B2 for eternity. <laughs> Morally, Barb's could be B2 forever. I'll fucking get him to oh. engrave it on the trophy. <laughs> Yeah. That's Hall yeah, of Fame I know. shit. Oh, that's a swing. One. That is a Reggie's swing, and I love it. Yep. <laughs> that's that's going to be an absolute. Fucking cunt to post to on the social. Gilly's going to be putting in some league. work tonight. <laughs> oh, good on your butts. That's prime. But, like, yeah, like you say, Tom, if he hits that, she's fucking all over. Barbs will be shivering, right? Well, uh, <laughs> Quaking B1 in his boots. will be fucking, yeah. <laughs> when he hears this in the morning, he will be shivering. Yeah. The towel will go <laughs> straight boots. between the legs. He'll, I reckon he'll keep his confidence up, but he'll be going, oh, fuck. Oh, button please, is God. really swinging. <laughs> He's confident too. The trainers at Doombin going, hey, scratch that. <laughs> he wasn't like, boys, I'm going for a huge swing here, something crazy. He's just no, like, you yep. Just, you'll see a fight and a Get Bella fucked. Clava just enter the track of the last race. <laughs> 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 no, great work. Oh. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing these two go at it all year. Yeah, It'll yeah, yeah. It started off good. I don't, I'm, we need to know what this big girth is. <laughs> 
The big girth. I it's think just it's, what they've always called each other. I think it's like you talk about the girth on a horse. <laughs> well, look, <laughs> at, the, look the at the boys. They're, yeah, they've they got some skinny gentlemen. Nah. <laughs> <clears throat> you know? You're right. Righto. Another good stinger coming up here. Our group one segment. Mm. Uh, every week that there's a group one race that's going to be running, everyone on the show is going to have a crack at it because we mentioned this a couple of times. Whenever there was a big feature race, everyone had hone in on it. <laughs> so we went, righto, we will all hone in on it. Yeah. Bang, group one segment. This is for G1 Supremacy. Mm. Um, again, we've all got five units. On the days where there's like three, four, five group ones in a day, we're only going to go Just to pick one. one, yeah. <laughs> the main but big one. what we're going to do is everyone's going to – we'll rotate through and you get to pick which race. If yeah. there's more than one, you get to pick, you know, because yeah, you, might, right. going you might really like something in one race. So yep. you go, right, boys, we're picking And you're one. set on a different one and I just fuck you by going right. on a different race. But you got to tell us early. No, no. Which one it is. <laughs> just drop it on the show. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do there. That way it stays fair, you know, and it's not just me picking the race every time and – Yep. You know, benefiting myself, which I'd never, well, you are ever, G1G, ever do. So, oh. But this week's Group 1 race, this kicks off uh, the autumn. I know it's still summer, but we're kicking off the autumn racing. Um, it's the first Group 1 of the year. It's the CFO Stakes at Caulfield. It's race number nine on the card. At this stage, they're racing on a good four, boys. Rail mm. in the true position the entire circuit. Um, let's just explain the uh, differences in track conditions, eh? Just yeah. real quick. So you've got a good, a soft, and a heavy. They're your ratings of the track. Good means it's nice and firm. They run. They call it running on top of the ground because their hooves don't sink into the turf. Good three is the firmest that it can get, and yeah. then you've got a good four. And then from there, it goes into a soft five, soft six, or soft seven. Soft five being the firmest, yeah. soft, and then down to soft seven. Like the looser it is underfoot, the worse they call it. So you've got a soft five, soft six, soft seven, and then we move into a heavy eight, heavy nine, mm. heavy ten. And if you're running on a heavy ten, the jockeys are getting splattered with mud everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's when you may as well throw a dart at a board. And yeah, pick a and you're looking for the swimmers. You are you're yeah. looking for the swimmers, yeah. and that means it's really loose underfoot. Sometimes it can get pretty dangerous too because mm. the horses don't have their footing and stuff like Any that. Grip, yeah, but um, I so, think we've got a couple of. Uh, like, I don't know, different. A couple of code words, boys, leading up to this stink, these fights that we're all into, it's time to start throwing a bit of lip around. Mm, so, and just a subtle, it's a bit of subtle stuff, you know, slipping through the cracks, but we'll tell you now so mm. you know moving forward. So, a good track will be a Reggie's. Because so it's a nice Reggie's and hard. Because it's just, yeah, hard. It's hard, it's firm, it's And it's good. good. We're it's good. just good. Yeah. We're all awesome. fucking good. That's a Reggie's three or a Reggie's four. Now, when you go to a bit soft, like where it's a bit, you know, pension is turdy. Um, we'll probably be looking at like a, a Darcy or a Jarch. A Darcy like, or a Jarch. Yeah, there's a lot of a, softness yeah. in them. So a, a Jarchy five seven. or a Darcy seven. Yeah. And then when we're heading fucking heavy, where it's big and slow and stuck in the mud, <laughs> we're going to Clutzy nine. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's that's what's going to yeah. be happening, boys. If you if you get confused, yeah, we're running on a klutz nine. It just means it's a heavy track. Okay. <laughs> it means you're looking for the swimmers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we're on a Reggie's four at Caulfield. On a Reggie's this four. Week this is a good end. start. Beautiful. It's just a level playing field here, boys, yeah. for the first one. The race is named uh, in honour of Charles F. Orr. So shockingly, the CFO. He's a former chairman secretary at the Williamstown Racing Club. Doesn't exist anymore. Um, previous winners list. Saintly, Reduce Choice, Long Lonro, Blackheart, Bart, Hartnell, Black Caviar won the race. Ooh. This was her only ever start at 1,400 metres. And go and watch it because it is the biggest piss up you'll ever see. Luke Nolan does not move. like that. He may as well not have taken a whip. Wow. He does not fucking move, man, and she wins by like six lengths in an absolute canter. It's like stopping on the line. How many times did she it do only that? do that once? Oh, it did it twenty five times, but it was over. Oh, the I mean that distance though. Like if it did well, it that she easy, she won so much money yeah, in the yeah, sprints. Yeah. So. That was just yeah. Oh, mate, that's pretty cool. Unbelievable. Um, righto. So I I'll kick us off again. Yep. I've got me five units that I can <laughs> spread around. Yes. All these segments we can spread the five. Hmm. Uh, I've got a feeling there's going to be some very, very similar bets here. 
But I'm going to go – I can't go past Mr. Brightside. Um, watch his two runs, first and second up last. Uh, prep, he ran 1,400 both times. It was unbelievable. That second win, he was three wide the trip and he still got the job done. Uh, beat I Wish I Win Home. Mm. That was in the Memsey. Um, I think he'll be ready to rumble, but he, I don't know, first up, you just always never know whether they want the run or not. But the Hayes team always seemed to have him cherry ripe straight away. So I think um, Pride of Jenny will run a fast race, boys, but... It does scare me a little bit because of what she did those two spring races where she just was leading by 10 and hung on. Not not many horses can do that, eh? Yeah. You think, why don't more horses do that? Because they can't. Mm. They literally cannot. Because they've just, spent energy where the others weren't yeah, and they get caught. Cool. There's mm. very few horses that can do it, but the only thing that turned me off her was she did that fourth and fifth up yep. over 1,600. This is first up over 14, so I'm like, does she have the, the energy in the legs and does she have the, the miles in the legs, if you know what I mean, to be able to run them off their feet like that? Mm. Don't know. Don't think so. And Buffalo River's in there too, and he's also a leader and he tears away as well. So those two are probably going to go pretty fucking hard at the start. Um, the absolute blowout for mine, the big Munamek. He, uh, he won the gold rush in the West. Damien Oliver's last ride, we all remember that. We mm. watched it. Uh, it was absolute scenes over there. He's been freshened and he runs well fresh. So we know the speed's going to be super hot with Jenny and Buffalo. He's 19 bucks, so I reckon he's a, he's a little bet. So I'm going to have four units, Mr. Brightside, at I think you're getting $1.95 at the moment. So got crunched into $1.80. Back out to a dollar ninety five as we speak. So four units, Mister Brightside, and then one unit on the Mac yeah, as the nice, blowout. Mate. Nice, mate. Uh, well, I've got a very similar fucking yarn to that. Brightside obviously is the main play, yeah. and I'm going four units on him as well. That's just simple as exactly what you said. And I've got one on Pride of Jenny. Yeah, because I just that name stuck straight out to me. I remember watching it this year or last year, sorry, in the spring, and going, yeah. I was fucking impressed by it holding on like that. And I just thought, oh, well, if there's any little vibe bet here, that just to chuck one unit on if I think something might hold on somehow, I'm just going prior to Jenny with one unit. So four on bright side, one on prior to Jenny. Glorious. Nice, boys. Glorious. I'm going down a very different path. I'm going number two, Pericles. Oh, he loves Four year old <laughs> gelding who dons the Godolphin blue is a past favourite of mine, as you just mentioned, Gropes. And for the first group one of 2024, simply can't go past it. So it's first up here and at the 1400 metres, has proven it can win. Ran a great second in its last start at the Golden Eagle in November last year and coming off a trial win at 1000 metres just over a week ago, I think they've got him prepped perfect for this. It's jumping from barrier five, which isn't a bad gate considering there's only nine horses in this field. He goes forward as well. Yep. It's a big attraction for me having Mark Zara on board. So I know J-Mac is my go-to and my favourite, but I think it's pretty fair to say in the last 12 months, Zara's been the informed jockey in Australia. Yep. $8 is fucking value here, and I'm throwing all five units on it oh. for the inaugural G1 Championship. You're going away from Brightside. That is unbelievable. Yep. Hey, I... Hat off to you. Suck. Too many times I've Sucked gone, in, oh, man. that's the fucking short favourite. <laughs> I should win. But I just got a feeling about Pericles. Yeah, I know. There's a difference between a short favourite and Mr. Brightside, but I reckon. like, I, I would not be surprised by an upset this weekend. Yeah. First up, you just can never. You just don't know. You just never know with the uh, with the first up. But you can only go off past form. And first up, 1,400 last time, he was way too good. So, um, no, that's good. I had, didn't need not even have Pericles written down here. I've got a really? little bit of shit about um, V8 because he was really good. First up at the Valley, that was his first start there. Um, he got the job done over 1,200 first up, but he did this exact same thing, and I know because I tipped him on the show and everything. Exact same thing. He won first up 1,200 last prep, and then he was second up 1,400 mm. going, fucking this is going to be unreal, and he was shit. He was terrible. So, I don't know. Obviously, he's older now and he's more experienced than that. But I just went off that and I went, oh, I might just steer clear just because of that exact thing happened. Yeah. Um, a tissue, 1,400 first up. She wants 2,000 metres. So, I'm like. Mm. I was curious on why you steered away from a tissue. Yeah. It's oh, you never know. She can. Yeah, She tech. probably will. <laughs> 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 I can't sneeze. Yeah. Um, Bustler didn't even look at him 
and yeah, the mech. I just thought the mech only because the speed's going to be super like hot, obviously, because <laughs> you got Pride of Jenny and you got Buffalo River that are just going to be pinging. So I'm yeah. thinking, oh, can something come from the back? And I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Only time will tell. But yeah, a tissue. We got surely, the, surely it's we got two. the old boys in this too, don't we? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, hundred percent. And Barb's and Button, and they're every, all in. everyone's in. We got a heap of fucking things to get through right, here. Right, let's go. What on. do we want to do? We want to go. Yeah, what would you like to do? Go the old boys first. We haven't heard from them yet. Yeah, I'm Before fucking. We, I feel like something's yeah. missing. There's another it segment is, coming. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Reginald. G1 Keto has arrived in the house. <laughs> and yes, we'll steer away from the favourite Mr. Brightside. <laughs> oh, and go. I'm going to go for a roughie. Straight away, I'm going to take the advantage <laughs> if she wins. Jenny. Group 1 CF4 stakes. Hang on, guys. A pull. Oh, oh, and, oh, oh, oh. and a tissue. Race nine, number oh. seven, a tissue, oh, wow. currently $13 on Bluebet. Oh, I love this. Very Two nice by girl. three sperms on this horse and straight to the leaders board, guys. <laughs> Look forward to next week. Reggie community, get on. Please stay safe. Oh. I love that it's getting That's she run, fucking good. Can she run that fucking quick fresh? Like, Keto I thinks know. so. That Some kind of win here. That's good. Yeah, yeah, At least yeah. one of us will win. We're nice and spread. You watch fucking Buffalo River just to hang on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pedro. 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 Okay, Reggie's, and for the other new segment, we, um, <laughs> group here. one, group one racing. Let's fucking attack. Love it. Great idea, boys. The CF or stakes, fourteen hundred meters. Oh, everyone's going to be looking at obviously Mr. Brightside. And like I said before, I just don't like hot favourites, even though I love that horse. Pride of Jenny has beaten it before, but I think this race is a bit too short. So, Juju Bet, number two, Pericles. Oh, oh listen to it. He must be a my nice father. Horse. Mark Zara on the back. Paying $8. Me lucky number two. Fuck it. I'm going to stick <laughs> all my five units on that one as well. Bang. Attack. Nice, I love it. He the knows how to punt, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think us Reds just fucking love good old and blue. We love and you, James. Yeah. We're getting fucking taken over by red cunts. You are <laughs> <laughs> one by one. <laughs> we are. There's four of them. Yeah. Well, Barbary <laughs> claims he you. isn't, but he fucking is. Where are the Well, to be fair, I've never bought into the Barbary bit of Reddit. I just for those who don't know, Tom Button looks like a country. Horseman trainer version of Ben Hannant. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a bit of red in that. So yeah, we are taking over. Yeah, he's are taking over. <laughs> Tommy Hannant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's Rocket got for us? Hey, the other segment, the group one segment, race nine, the CF or stakes. Let's go five units on a box trifecta. Oh. One, nine, and two. Mm. Jump on them, stay hard. That's uh, what's Brightside V8 oh, Heracles. That's, Heracles. That's, that's nice. pretty good. That I don't mind good. V8, eh? Jeez, we're all about the look fucking at Godolphin blue here. Fucking oath. Ooh. Every can't just It's not it. cylinder, eh? It's fucking Everyone Heracles. Everyone's not tipping yeah. Brightside. So those are the two names that come. Yeah, mind. fools. Yeah. <laughs> More for us, nah, mate. We'll see. Watch the mech steam home. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well done, and, boys. Oh, the other two, the two Gerts, they're going to uh, be involved in this Group 1 segment as well. Mm -hmm. What are they tipping? Barbs. Can I go Barbary? Yeah, Barbs. Yeah. Reggie's back again. Sure, well, boys, go, first Group 1 of the year. I really like this concept that Grope has come up with about the Group 1s and keeping a tally and all that sort of stuff. And it should come with no surprise in the very mm. first one of the year, the Group 1 CF4 stakes on Saturday at Caulfield that I'm having all five units straight out. Mr. Brightside. Yeah. Yep. He needs no introduction to Reggie's listeners. Obviously, his Doncaster win was what got me to stay on the show permanently. Fucking come on. Fucking permanently, um, you reckon? <laughs> yeah, so like I say, no, needs no introduction. Best horse at sort of between 1,400 and a mile in the country. Uh, Hand himself in. He's drawn to get the run of the race in barrier four. He'll camp just behind the speed, and trust me, there'll be a fair bit of fucking speed going on here. <laughs> the likes of Buffalo River drawn barrier one and Pride of Jenny drawn barrier three. It'll just uh, 
they'll go lickety split seriously. They wouldn't go back if they dropped their fucking wallets. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he'll just the map looks ideal. He'll just come across slotting behind him somewhere. And uh, I think late that his class and excellence will shine through. Only thing that worries me is first up at seven furlongs, but the Hayes boys are no dills. They would have done, uh, they'd have done plenty with him to make sure he's fit enough to go seven furlongs first up. And uh, yeah, like I say, his class will shine through, and he'll be winning this one and adding another Group One to his name and CV. So that's. Uh, so what happened, boys? Five units straight out, Mr. Brightside in the CF4. Keep it stiff, lads. Happy punning. <laughs> On your barbs. Fuck oath, barbs. Oh, how long did that go for? <laughs> I think he went seconds. brightside, five units. Five units brightside. <laughs> yeah, right. Did. He was never I'm going sorry. away. Oh, oh, and oh, yeah, it's a smart bet. Like, let's be honest. You, you look at value and stuff like that, but if you see that at, at two bucks and you go, you know, you're not yeah. stupid. You're not saying, oh, what a shit bet to someone. No, that's right. I think, oh. Like he just reiterated there, it's the the only issue is the first up thing. But yeah, he did it last prep, so you know you can only go off fucking form, boys. That's right. Or juju. We're mm. only humans as well. Yeah, form or juju. Form or juju. I know. <laughs> What's Tommy Button doing? Reggie's TBR here. Had a little look at the CF4 stakes Group One to be run at Caulfield on Saturday. Nine horses in it. Uh, a little bit light on numbers wise. I think the VRC would be a little bit um, disappointed with that. Uh, obviously, alligator b- blood breaking down a couple of oh, weeks ago yeah. probably uh, has had a little effect on this field, and he would have been, um, you know, uh, a little bit more class in the race, no doubt. But uh, what we have here is we have uh, Mr. Brightside, who's the class runner of the field, um, first up from a spell. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tip an upset here and. I'm uh, proud of Jenny. I think she'll run oh. forward. She'll she'll probably lead. Um, probably. <laughs> she really come to come to the fore last preparation. Really um, matured and and put her hand up as as being that sort of horse on on the improve. And I just think first up she might uh, she might just stretch Mr. Brightside and. He normally takes a run or two to get to his best. He, he's won two from six first up, but uh, it's not normally his best run in, in his in his preparation. So, trying to get some money out of a small field, I'm I'm going to go a trifecta. I'm going to go a straight trifecta, and that's the way I've gone. I've gone pride of Jenny to win, to beat Mister Brightside. I think he'll be coming at her late, but um, I just think she not might boxed. be able to give him the slip just rounding the corner and um, hold on. I think uh, I think they'll beat the rest home um, comfortably. I've put Pericules number two in for third, so <laughs> my straight trifecta will be eight one two oh. for five units. Good luck, happy punning, and remember: the more you, <laughs> the more. Oh, <laughs> <yeah. dang>. <laughs> <laughs> this cunt He's gone. <laughs> just swings, mate. If if Holy Button gets fuck. these bets, we're just gonna we might as well just shut it down. <laughs> It's so unheard of that when he said straight trifecta, I went, I realised, went, what the yeah. fuck? She's no boxed. Uh, you'll fucking he's buy got a five... an island off CQ of you, more of those two cunts. Yeah. <laughs> he's gone five <laughs> win, five leg win multi and fucking straight trifecta. Oh, I love that is confidence. an absolute oh, swing. Fucking hell. He's you swinging him, more than Foster is behind That's us. That's the girth just will, swinging <laughs> for the he boys. He will get it, yeah. He will wow. fucking get it. You I liked that the two horsemen... One likes one of me things and the other likes the other. I'm like the pride of Jenny. Yeah, yeah. You're saying a bit of that. So yep. that's uh, I was pretty happy hearing that. Yeah, that's nice. And that's honestly, fun. he's swinging the most, but he knows the most about horses. Well, the that's like fuck, fucking I mean, trains them. Is that debatable? Well, well at the moment, B2, or... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We but will. yeah, no, you heard it here first. Well, there we go, boys. There's <laughs> all the... Uh, Group one. That tips. is all the group one tips. Obviously, we're going to post all these up. It's yeah. going to be awesome. Gilly's going to fucking do a great job as he always does. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. I think next week we've got the Lightning Boys. Imperatrice should be back oh. for the Lightning. Did anyone watch her trial the other day? It was terrible. Really? Uh, she ran fifth. Everyone's writing her off, but it was a fucking trial. So oh, I'm not fucking writing her off. Guess who is apparently trialling next week? Oh, yeah. I heard. Yabby, Yabby. Yabby Pump. Oh, Yabby Apparently trialling, I think it's Monday or Tuesday. I think Monday. It's just Monday, yeah. Isn't it, what, 750 or 800 metres or something? 800 at Warwick Farm, I believe. Yeah. Nice. So I see, how, to see how he goes. Do you know who's on back? No, I'm not. I, I, it's more just get putting him through his um. It'll be a work rider. Yeah, righto. Yeah. 
But it's good. Like, it's exciting things um, right. happening. Yeah, He's doing all the right things, as well said, um, on the little video of the owner's group. And yeah, it's we'll see if he just, just absolutely carries on at the barriers. Mate, or... I'm just pumped <laughs> to see that he's got to this stage. That, yeah, like because a lot of horses probably wouldn't, or they'd be fuckheads in training, or this yeah, or that, or wait till injured. Three and so shit. it's yeah. cool just to see that he's even at this stage to watch trials, and then yeah, it just makes it super exciting to involve the Reggie's listeners in a similar thing in a couple of months, hopefully, when we get our horse. Yeah, Fuck bloody yeah. oath, we've planned to go to another uh, mm. another. Sales, yeah. Um, it'll probably be the national sales on the Gold Coast in June, and we will get one. Yeah, <laughs> we will. Uh, sweet as well. The last segment, Stinger, um, is going to be the old boys versus the young guns. I believe. Young guns. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, we are guns. Yeah. yeah. We well, old boys are. versus young boys. We just. I yeah, don't want to be called a young boy. <laughs> it no, sounds, it, it just sounds like a bit emasculated, <laughs> yeah. doesn't it? This is going to be yeah. my favourite segment. Oh, for sure. This is where all the band is going to come in. All toe six to of toe. us. All six of us have got five units to spend. We're not a team. Well, we are a team. We are a team. But we've each got our units yeah, yeah. to spend, you know. We're so, single players in our team. That's exactly yep. fucking right, Tom. Mm. That's a great way to put it. Everyone's return on investment for the week has added up. Yeah. So even they might all hit theirs mm. and only one of us hits ours, but we might still end up in front for the week. So that's, that's right. what's fucking exciting because it's going to be tactical, boys. Mm. You know? I might go, hey, fellas, I'll just have yeah, five yeah. units, Mr. Brightside. And Jace, you have a swing. Yeah, that's yeah, right. You're allowed, allowed to five units. You're, you're allowed, allowed to swing. Yeah. Yeah. You're allowed to talk. <laughs> yeah. I won't be doing that, but I'll be going. Uh, I'm actually found out I'll be going up against Barb's, like in the in the race, not the segment. Oh, so he's uh, he liked high octane in the Blue Diamond Prelude for the Colts and Geldings. Can't knock it. It was a fucking great win last week. Um, what has happened there? Mark Zara rode it high octane number one race six at Caulfield. This is. This week, sorry. Mm. But Zara rode it last week and it, it won. Oh, sorry. It was on Australia Day and it won. Zara now gets on Bodyguard, also trained by Peter and Paul Snowden. Yep. Um, it's had one start for one win. That was in October last year. So it's got to the races a little bit before high octane and I just like that because it was an impressive win. It absolutely pissed up. And they had only had the one start back to the paddock. Back yep. for more work, more track work, more, you know, getting prepped for the races. Whereas High Octane's had his first start on Australia Day and I just think maybe Bodyguard's going to have a little bit more of a, a class edge. They're only two-year-olds and they've both had one start, so it's hard to say class edge. But I just think because he had that first start in October, he's had a bit more, tr you know, training. He's had mm. a bit more work. He's... uh. That's that's me theory anyway, and you're getting three dollars ten at the moment. Um, and saying that, high octane's only going to improve off the Australia Day run. Bodyguards had a couple of good trials. He'll be right up for it. Um, yeah, I just think he'll tail high octane into the straight and get him. So I'm going to launch five units into bodyguard. Let's go. Three dollars nice. ten. Fucking I love that, mate. I'm. Uh, are we going to? Are we going to go young gun and then their old boy? Oh no, we'll go to keto. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, we'll yeah. go. Yeah. Spawn off. Spawn off, yeah. 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 <laughs> Spawn off and then the old boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Reginalds, I'm up and about this week. <laughs> Let's start by congratulating you sperms for putting on an absolute brilliant show over the last uh, 12 months. Can't wait to see how the new concept uh, ends up at the end of the year. Old boys v young bucks. Uh, let's bring it on. Not sure I'm a fan of the word unit. As opposed to dollars, but anyway, that's what you fucking three think yous are. Good on yous. <laughs> Keto's collectors this week in the unit <laughs> challenge is heading to Caulfield Race 8, number four, Asfura. Oh. It just wins, guys. Shit. Uh, first up. Oh, that's what you. Massive fucking odds at $2.25 on Bluebet. I'll have me five sperms on that. <laughs> Till next week. Happy punting. Stay <laughs> safe. Come on, the old boys. Yeah, but I want it to win for the championships. Yeah, I know. But he's just yeah, but fucking... your other horse just needs to win, and yeah, it's exactly. Because all, yeah, all three of us get up, and Keto yeah. could get up. I know, but, was, but still, you know. I see how you're conflicted, <laughs> but just back yourself, mate. Right, well, we win either way now, bud. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Masvera yep. wins or loses, doesn't matter. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> right, oh, so <clears throat> for mine, I'm steering away from the horses. I'm going to the Biffin. Obviously, not much luck with the Biffin apart from Meatball. Um, mm. But the Nomo multi was a no-go. 
Um, <laughs> so we are heading to the UFC this weekend. There is an exciting prospect in the UFC at the moment that I'm a big fan of in the middleweight division, Joe Pfeiffer. Have you heard I of this have. mad unit? I have. Pie. Pie. Really? Joe Pie. It's P-Y, <laughs> but P-Y-F-E-R, still. P-Y-F-E-R, but matter. Joe Pie pretty much. That is fucking awesome. So Joe Pie. <laughs> Joe Dog's Eye. He's got a great storyline behind him. Like pretty sure he has no family, man. Like behind him there's no – doesn't have mum and a dad and grew up pretty rough. Mm -hmm. and had to do it all himself, and he's made a fair statement in the UFC at the moment, and he's headlining this fight night. Um, He's reported that he broke Francis Ngannou's hardest punch record, like on the machine. The motherfucker can whack. Wow. So he is fighting Jack Hermanson, headlining the fight night this weekend. I think he uses that power, and I think Joe Pye to win by KO – I'm chucking me five units on that. Yes. It's the I think it should be around the two dollars twenty five mark. Um, Blue bet don't have it up yet. They will before the fight, obviously. So that's going to be mine. Five units on Joe Pyfar to knock out old mate this weekend. Is he a heavyweight? No, he's a middleweight. Really? But you should Holy see the fuck. size of the fucker. He's about an hundred and ninety. No, I think he's one point nine. <laughs> Like tall oh, yeah. and just wow. a big red. Yeah. Like just a <laughs> yes. 188. Nice. 188. There you go. He, Let me, well, the I odds like. show that he has that knockout power. That's the fuck fucker me. there. Have a go. What he meant. Look, just, he looks a bit like Gage. He's an absolute fuck, weapon. Fuck, he doesn't. He needs to catch a few sun rays. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a I can't of, throw stones. He's got a bit of Jace about him, actually. <laughs> yeah. but, he does. But, um, man, like he's an absolute weapon. And that's a really good one. Not even punting wise. Like to go and watch a main event for free. Yeah. That's a good one on this weekend. Yeah, it is. It's a free fight night, eh? Yeah, yeah. sweet. Fucking nice. Love that. So that's what's, mine. That's beautiful. What's uh, <coughs> Rockette got? Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Boys, punters, Queenslanders, Rockets, Ruffies, raring to go. Our first segment is the old boys versus soft cocks. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to Randwick, race eight, horse three, Berry Grove. Tommy Berry on board, paying six fifty. Let's go all five units on a six fifty oh, win. Dairy Grove. For Dairy Grove. <laughs> so has he so he's cool. backed Dairy Grove before, hasn't he? Nah, Keto that, did. That's right. Keto did. <coughs> I knew it was a friend of the day. show. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. no, 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 no. He didn't Keto has backed it, but not when it won. Mm. But it won on Millions Day. It did, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So yeah. obviously this is that games thing, right, where like he's going pretty ballsy going all yeah. five on a six dollar, where I'm pretty confident in fucking Joe Pie, but he's only two dollars something. So and Keto just, Keto's mm. gone as Furo, which is two twenty. Yeah. You know, that's good. That's so it's they good. must be talking the, the to fit, each other. Yeah. <laughs> we thought they'd yeah. do fuck all, but they're onto it. <laughs> this is where we're gonna get our money. What do you got for we us, are. Chase? Righto. <clears throat> I've done the five units on my other bets, but I'm splitting them up this time. Nice. <laughs> So for my first one, we're going to Caulfield Race 1 and I'm back in Bermudez. Oh, yes. This race is a tricky one because uh, there's one other horse that I've backed previously against Bermudez not too long ago and it was Super Razzi. But look, I have learnt my lesson. Bermudez was way too good at Flemington in January taking out the three-year-old race there. Hasn't been anything special at the 2,000 metres, but... um, Vastly improved since and hitting his strides as he mm. builds up back from the mile. Another horse for that day that – sorry. Another horse for the day I'm backing with Mark Zara on back. So I don't really need to say it again. Spoke about his form. Barrier five again in another nine-horse field. So it can win and it will fucking win. It's paying $3.50, so I'm putting three units on that. 380 now. 380 even better. Glorious. Keep on coming up. <laughs> For my last two units, it's only right that now we are versing the old boys that I beat Pedro at his own fucking game (laughs) and show him that the spawn of can do it better. Is this an EPL multi? I'm going a (laughs) five-leg Premier League multi. (laughs) (laughs) So for the first one, we've got Manchester City head-to-head against Everton. Luton Town head-to-head against Sheffield United. Liverpool head to head against Burnley. Sprinkle in Diogo Jota anytime goal scorer for two dollars thirty. Thank you very much. The bloke can't stop scoring at the moment, whether he starts <laughs> or comes off the bench. And to finalise that, we've got Tottenham to beat Brighton. Chuck my last two units on. It's paying eight dollars sixty. Oh, so you've got one goal scorer in there. One goal scorer and then four, and then wins. four wins. Fucking oath. 
cry. It just mm. wins. It just does. That does. That's that fires me up. You, like, you've you'll be in his head. I will. <laughs> he'll be he's, thinking, "Fuck!" If, he saw that this was his thing the whole time. <laughs> you've just off. come in under him and five legged the cunt. There's, yep. Well, what's going to happen here? <laughs> well, <laughs> if he does, imagine if he six legged him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just one up. Here we go, Pedro. <laughs> oh God! Please. I'd be a three or a four, yeah. surely. Be a four legger. Well, g'day, Reggie's. <laughs> let's get this new segment rolling. Old boys, let's sort them out. Straight up Saturday night, Pedro has a five <laughs> leg. That's right. And I'm sticking my full five units on it. Five and five, let's go. Man City to beat Everton. Luton to beat Sheffield United. Oh, Wolves to beat Brentford. Fulham to beat Bournemouth. Liverpool to beat Burnley. All, all home oh. games should shit it in. Thanks to Blue wow. Bet, spent about 11 bucks. That's nice. That'll uh, fill our pockets right up. All right, boys. Oh, all fellas, on. all boys, let's attack. <laughs> this so, couldn't be any more challenging. Three of them are the same. Yeah. Three legs are the same. That's great. Two are different. That's prime. <laughs> wow. So we could get, we have equal legs up. You they come at different shit, times, you, though. You could so, both shit the bed, too. There's yeah, no yeah, both could, but I think mine's safer. Well, it is. That's great. Well, his is 11s and yours is 8s. There's a lot mm. going on there, so it'll be There's good having that breakdown <laughs> from shout out to you, Gilly. Yeah, uh, he's got a bit on. On the socials, <laughs> but that's fucking awesome. That's what it's about. Yeah. Fuck yeah. This Fuck is I why I knew this, game. this segment was going to be fucking the best one. The I'm fired segment. up now, man. How's old Rocket just drive by us? Yeah. He does. Just, <laughs> just calls us soft cocks, soft cocks. Soft cocks. And See you later. Here's my bet. <laughs> 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 and Keto doesn't quite understand the unit system. Yeah. He, uh, so listen here. He's actually gone a bit deaf, so he might need to turn this up a bit. Uh, a unit can be anything because people bet with different amounts of money, mate. So someone might normally have 10 on the nose of a horse, whereas someone else might have 100 on the nose, but it's still one unit's one unit. Mm. Whether it's 10 or 100, it's one unit. So, Think of it as so, 10 bucks if you so want. So will we be starting, Groper, all at zero and then say our unit, if it wins, do we times that by how much was on like yeah. the odds of so it. So let's say you had in. five units on us for at two dollars, you get ten units. Yeah, same as normal. Betting. Sweet. I just wanted to break that down. Very simple. Yeah. So whoever was still unsure, yeah, that's how it all appear. We're all starting from zero, and the units we put on will be times by what the it's odds. paying. Bang! There's there we units. go. We all want to go. If we positive. shit the oh, bed flat out, it'll be minus one. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she'll be minus. Well, technically, we're all minus five because we've put the bets on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? So we're all minus five at the moment. We've yep. got to go get them back. Got to print. <laughs> yes, right. Oh, yeah, that's fucking pretty much all the all the new segments done and dusted. How good was that? Oh, mate. That was massive, was massive shout out to Blue Bet for being a big part of making this all happen, the one-off punting show like we're doing. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's great to have a good partner like that. Bloody yes, yes, it is. And obviously all our other sponsors as well that um, support us. Standard Squeeze, CTC. You know, all the legends. Bloody so. oath. The Make Reggie's sure you jump on uh, Blue Bet. Have a look at the bets. We'll put them up tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, jump on the Blue Bet app and have fun on Demoria. the weekend. Demoria. Gamble responsibly. Make sure it's responsible. Feed your family first uh, and yourself. Be good. We will see you Wednesday. First look at the footy mm. and the rest oh, of the sport yeah. over the weekend. But that's all we've got time for today. The more you see us. Hooray.